my name's Lindy Cowling and welcome back to my channel. My website is www.lindycowling.co.uk and my email is info at lindycowling.co.uk. So here we are in 2020. If you are new to this channel or if you are a long term subscriber of mine, you'll have noticed that there's been a gap in the frequency of the videos I've been putting out lately. That is because since we hit 2020, I've had a lot of situations to deal with the untimely, sudden uh, passing of my very young six year old cat, who was absolutely fine in the run up to Christmas and then riddled with cancer immediately afterwards and has died, which was devastating. The passing of a grandmother and then my car being bumped on a main highway here, which was a very near miss for myself and my younger son. So we've had three quite big things during January to contend with and the consequences and the grief that goes with those things, particularly actually my cat. So I'm back up here now uh, it being February 2020 and the video I'm going to bring out today really is going to cover these extraordinary times that we're living in, why the energies are doing what they're doing at the moment and the information I have on that. So the title of this video today is 2020 to 2024 why these years are pivotal to connections or to connection. 2020 to 2024, why these years are pivotal to connection. If you have been a subscriber to my channel for a number of years, you will have seen the journey unfold and you would have seen me talking about the pivotal times that we're in, in regards to one's raising of consciousness, in regards to the switch over from one's head to one's heart, in regards to ascension, the same thing, in regards to raising one's consciousness, awakening, coming into a unified zero point field of consciousness. In, in, in other words, becoming the unprogrammed, pure form of you. And sometimes in order to get there, we require, let's say, outside assistance, projection, reflection, from other people, from other connections, in order to arrive home in one's heart. In those earlier videos over the last few years, I was predicting that we would hit a certain point of time where there would be an inner, an inner big bang, an inner big bang of frequency that we were building up towards it, that time in inverted commas would get faster and faster and we would hit a critical point where there would be a breakthrough, a burst through, a surge through internally in people's consciousness, which would actually also be matched externally on the planet's Earth's consciousness, which they could because they're interrelated. And there would be an arrival, shall we say, of, I'm gonna, not going to say no time, I'm going to say an arrival of now time, where time, as we understand it, would then be very different. It would burst through and become an internal and external state of everything being in the now moment. No longer a concept, but actually physically, tangibly here. That is the time that we as humanity have now arrived in. 
It's been building up for a long time, a very long a number of years, but now we're here. So what does this mean in regards to yourselves, ourselves, and in regards to connections that you have, connections with God, source, the universe, connections with another person, some kind of connection in forms of partnerships, relationships, or twin flames, or soulmates, or catalysts, or ascensionary soulmates, or matching consciousness. What does it mean for all of us personally and for when you are interrelating in this way? Well, it's significant because the years 2020 to 2024 are really getting used to us operating the now energy, the physical, physical creationary grid of consciousness within us, that now grid, operating our vehicles, our Merkaba, our soul. So it's like getting a new set of, um, a new car, a new set of operating instructions for it. Getting used to operating from the metaphysical now tangibly having become physical. In other words, to, to put it bluntly, this shit got real. It's all very real now. So real, solid, instant consequences, instant change, instant amazing, instant shocking and devastating. You will be seeing a lot of souls transforming by leaving the planets in the years ahead you will see a lot of worldwide changes a lot of shake-ups we're already seeing them and i've been predicting this for some time uh i'll give you one example the royal family for one example big institutions that have been there for a long time cracking now are wide open and will either fall or will have to transform all the lies and untruths across the world and within people's heads and minds and bodies and consciousness will be coming out. And like I say, those on a soul or a spirit essence level that have made that very personal decision and choice not to remain in the physical body and go through this transformation and transforming elsewhere leaving planet or coming out and, and transferring by passing over and of course this is on a very human level take it from one who knows as this is an experiential channel i also go through everything i talk and teach and share but it is very devastating and shocking when that comes out of left field these are the times we are now in everything is frequency specific so what do i mean frequency specific what I mean by that is according to the frequency or vibration that you are holding is going to very much depend on how you deal with the current situations in your life. Because I said in, everything is instant. We are now in a now grid of consciousness. We are now, I could almost say, in no time. I'm going to call it no time and now time because it's one and the same. It's all part of that same grid. So we've switched over really this, to this multi-dimensional. We could call it a, a Christed or Christ new energy grid. We've switched over to that. It's a multi-dimensional grid. It's here and now and everything is showing up very real and very physically. And I'm sure you will notice this and you're going to notice this because between 2020 and 2024 are significant years for the complete, not just the complete embodiment and integration of this. It's already here. It's actually here. It's not that it's, it's a conceptual thing, but getting used to functioning at that vibration and frequency and everything being very real. So how it shows up for real human beings and in real human relationships, so to speak, is everything is pretty much instant. So those things that were hidden or subtle or under the surface are no longer hidden or subtle or under the surface. They are there, they are in your face. And if you have stuff to transform, if you have your own baggage to clear your emotional stuff 
it is going to come up hard it is going to come up fast and it is going to be in your face and where there is a real massive collective expression of all of these kind of human emotions at the moment because in order to maintain and keep frequency specific with the multi-dimensional now energy conscious grid that is here that is switched on that is across the masses though not all the masses will use it in order to use it and learn how to use it one has to really move through, recognize and let go of all that suppressed buried stuff, not just from your life now, from all realities, all timelines, all dimensions, all aspects of you in every reality of consciousness that's on planet, off planet, over the other side, here, all at the same time. It is that releasing of how that is being held within your body mind spirit and soul in your consciousness here how how that's being hold how it's reflecting out or projecting out and in order to function in that multi-dimensional reality in that multi-dimensional timeline scenario one has to let go of the other stuff so it will come up whether you want it to come up now or not, because we are in the physical years, solid, physical, tangible. It got real. So it will come up everywhere. It will come up at work. It will come up at home. It will come up in your personal relationships. You will, depending on where you're at in your evolution, it can either express very dramatically and very very strong feelings and emotions or it can come out as an expression of creation creating your reality a lot of people aren't at that point yet where they're consciously creating the reality most humans at the moment are at the point where they're reacting to their reality so it's a reactionary the old grid was a reactionary heavily programmed contaminated grid and so most people on the switch over from that to the multidimensional grid within them are really still moving through getting disentangling from that mindset, disentangling from that consciousness. So a lot of big dramatic stuff coming up and on a soul level or on a spirit essence level. Those souls that have decided they don't want to do this process in the human body, it's going one of two ways. They're either off planet, they're leaving planet suddenly, you know, suddenly uh, an illness comes out of left field or suddenly their life comes to an end. Or they are going through a massive ending and coming into a new beginning. So they're having a huge transformation that way. And there are some souls that don't want to leave the planet but also don't want to ascend on it. And this is a very interesting one because for a certain period of time, and that time now, I'll keep using the word time, but time's not really doing what we've ever seen it do before now. For a certain period, it will seem as if their life is going along the same trajectory, although they're not going to escape this physical now time grid now either because a lot of stuff will be coming up for them and they won't understand why it's coming up now but it's almost as if it will almost be as if certain people have gone pretty crazy uh, they will be not understanding why they feel so angry or overwhelmed or helpless or want to lash out at everybody and it will seem like things are starting to unravel and fall apart and they are and they're unraveling and falling apart for those that have decided not to ascend, as well as those that have decided they are wanting to align with the multidimensional grid. Because the old, all of the old is falling away. It's crumbling internally and externally. So it's showing up everywhere. So if a relationship isn't working, and it's all based on codependency or there is great buried unhappiness there. Uh, if it's done in the programmed form and there's a lot of stuff hidden beneath the surface, that stuff is now coming up. Uh, 
There's no one that can escape this, whether they've decided to go from the head to the heart or not, everybody's getting affected by this. So we're actually actualizing into a solidity, if you like, in these years. And I use the word solidity, not really because it is solid, but as a way of expressing that it is physical. It is no longer woo-woo or out there. It is now in here and it's all switched on. That critical mass po moment has passed and now it's translating over to the mass population. Like I say, not all are gonna go the same way on it. Some will decide they do wanna stay in the human body and go through the process and come into their multi-dimensional form and shed, if you like, the old stuff that's been within their energy field, system, soul, etc. And don't forget everyone that does that is also doing it on behalf of their soul and blood family. Other people had never intended to ascend in the human body and will go off planet. And other people will remain on a particular trajectory, but they're all hitting crunch points as well, which means they, it's frequency specific. So the earth no longer supports those that are non-frequency specific. In other words, the earth shifted when we all shifted at the same time. We've all shifted at the same time. We've all moved, which means that those that have a mindset of continuing in a particular way, they won't be, there's nothing to grab hold of anymore because it's all moved. So the have got to, to try and move with it or it's crumbling away, it's falling away. In other words, this is massive alchemization, massive transformation on a grand scale. And really, we are going to see some shocking, I'm going to use the word shocking, Shock will be a word that we use a lot um, because as human beings, when there is big change and big endings and new beginnings, it is can be wonderful, but can also be very shocking. And uh, it can be very devastating when that means that situations or a path that we were on or a relationship we were in, either suddenly ends, really suddenly ends, and it might have been building up for a long time or it might just completely come out of left field and that boom, that's it, no, no longer frequency specific. Or people suddenly die. Or there's a sudden event in an institution, in politics, in education, in the royal family. Um, you know, these are just a few examples where things that seemed solid that were really solid are going there's cracks appearing in them they're cracking wide open and it's you know it's transformation or it's coming down so we are in a in a point here like i say the tangible physical time where all realities are now running into this now and one reality they've all converged into this this point is into the now time. So in that sense, it's very exciting because we have been talking about this and predicting it as a concept for a number of years. And now it's actually happened, but it isn't always all roses when it happens because it does require big physical changes. And if we get to the physical, it's all happening in one's consciousness, but it's happening within the physical body. So the body has a whole new set of instructions, if you like, your instructions, multidimensional instructions to work from. So it will show up everywhere. If it's showing up in you, it's going to show up in everything you do, where you're working, the people you're working with, the, the up close and personal relationships. It will show up everywhere. It will show up in the connections that you draw into your space also, because you are going to be attracting towards you either the situation that helps you bring 
a certain old energy to a close, bring it out, bring it up, or a situation, a person, a connection or connections that can help you express the consciousness at the state you are now at and help you grow and expand with it. Everything now, I'm not going to say as much faster, is instant. That's the only way I can get this across, is instant. What we were saying would take months and years is now running into the, the day, the hour, a few days, a few weeks. It's fast, it's fast, 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 because it's actually, we're, we're, we're in the now. And in the now is going to become much more in the now as time, I'll use that word again, goes on, because we would have got used to expressing ourselves in that way and living in that way and existing in that way. So we are in phenomenal times because this is the thing that we've been working up to and has now happened. I'm not going to dress it up and spiritually bypass it and say it's now happened that is wonderful and you're going to sail through this because yes it, it has now happened and it is wonderful that we got there but it, it does require you walk in your walk and there are physical changes when you are switching over from one old reactionary grid of consciousness to a new multi-dimensional creationary grid of consciousness that requires change it's not just i'm not just using words here proper physical changes they happen inside they happen outside so as human beings we struggle with that sometimes not everybody is going to go for it in this way those in the younger generations are coming in already on the new grid they've got the new grid within them so it's not hitting them in the same way they're not reacting in the same way as other generations that are switching over from one grid to the other so it's not across the board and certainly the children born now are born within that new grid the now grid the multi-dimensional grid the unified grid all the same thing uh so depending on what age range and your background and your life experience is going to depend how you pass through this but it is an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing that we've got there. It's an amazing thing that we've now hit another point in which really, I'm going to call it that, the kind of crunch point now, that it's physical. It's all physical now. You're going to see it physically in your life. Physical consequences, physical outcomes, physical amazing things showing up, physical amazing people coming in to your lives physical people leaving your lives through transformation through passing over to through death to passing over to another realms through transformation of complete change in in people's life choices and we're going to see so much more of that and and i'm going to use the word shocking and that will be a word that we use a lot over the next so many years because it is going to be shocking as human beings to move through those changes internally and externally. But we will see it showing up everywhere, particularly in primary relationships, particularly who you're attracting in and why. Someone that mirrors all the stuff that you're purging and bursting through you and out of you from all timelines and realities to be purged and cleared. And those that are not able to walk alongside you that will be leaving your lives and then and the new energy if you like the multi-dimensional grid energy embodied by others that are able to sustain that wish to ascend in their human body wish to walk alongside you wish to be in partnership with you wish to grow with you whatever form they come in it doesn't really matter what name we give them we can call them twin flames we can call them matching consciousness we can say ascensionary soulmates we can say catalysts we can say conscious connections uh, doesn't really at that point matter what name we give to them because they will be people that you can evolve and create with on this earth that now is in complete harmony and tandem with that grid the earth has shifted we have shifted with the earth 
and the earth is all part of that organic creation. And on that note, I will love you and leave you. As always, thank you for watching this channel. Thank you for supporting me as the channel. Donations are very welcome. Uh, I am taking bookings for one-to-one -one via Skype sessions for February. There are bookings sitting there if you would like to have a session. And uh, I will be back up on Patreon. Thank you so much, my patrons, for sticking with me. I know I haven't been up on Patreon for a few weeks with all this going on. Um, thank you for sticking with me. I'll be back with you uh, over the next couple of days, back on Patreon again. And uh, if you want to purchase the album that is Sound Transmissions to release aspects of consciousness within you and stimulate it, all the details from that for that to order that, uh, which is an, in an MP3 format, will be below this video. I'll love you and leave you. I will see you again soon. I have a couple of other videos in mind, which I would like to bring out, um, but this is the first of those two or three. So take care. See you again soon. Bye.